Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will be showing you how you can create a new column based on category mappings. And if this is a solution that you are looking for, then uh, this book can be helpful for you where not just this, but I have documented uh, 20 different scenario, even though you can see 21, but uh, in one of the solution is I have shown it twice via different techniques. So all in all, what you have is 20 uh, different topics that I have documented. Uh, that is very common that you will find in the Python data frame manipulation, right? So you can give a pause and read these like different solutions, but you can get this book via the link that is present in the description, right? And I'm showing you the very first solution from this book is creating a new column based on category mapping. So for that, what I will do is I will create a new column over here or the new row over here. And here we will going to uh, import the pandas, import panda is PD, very straightforward, right? Nothing and fancy. So we are writing DF the data frame where we will going to read the one of the Excel workbook. So the Excel work, so it will be PD dot read underscore Excel. The workbook name is Excel S and the name sheet underscore name. The attribute is orders, right? So let's see what uh, is it just order or orders is something let me just see quickly in my sheet okay this is capital o all right so this is why it was throwing me an order error and now it should work fine and let me just show you what it contains it contains a very simple data set related to the superstore sales if you have been watching my previous video then you are fully aware about this data set but if you have landed very first time, one of the common data set that I use is this uh, superstore sales dot XLS. Also, the link is present in the description, which you can follow along with me. And uh, this is where, you know, this data set about what is the order, order date, so on and so forth. All these columns related to the sales of a product is present in one data set. All right. Now, coming back to the question which is creating a new column based on category mappings, right? So the situation what we have based on the category mapping is, let's say we have this column, which is segment, right? And it has uh, three different values. So if you want to see those values, then again, you can write one command and you can see it. And that is df uh, dot segment dot unique. And you will see the unique values consumer corporate and home office let's say we have the different text types mapped to these categories right so how do we basically bring in those text types into one of the columns for example let's say consumer has 10 percent corporate has 25 percent tax on the products and home office has 15 percent so the requirement is that we need to bring in those values and map it to these categories. Consumer should have 10%, uh, corporate should have 25% and home office should have 15%. So for that, here I want to show you the solution. So what we will going to do is I am going to first create the segment underscore tax underscore detail variable, which will hold my dictionary and the way we were going to diction the way it happens is you have key and value right so in this case key is these values consumer corporate and home office so since it is text we will write it or like this consumer colon and now the value for tax the value is how much 10 percent so 0 0.10 or 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 indicates 10 percent in percentage terms after that, you write a comma and you say corporate and you write the 25%, so 0.25. And after comma, you have home office, right? And the 15% uh, is the tax, 0.15, right? So here it becomes easy. Uh, 
where you have with the key and values this is the key you have 10 percent 25 percent 15 percent now i am pressing shift enter so that it execute this create this object and now it also creates a new line shift enter remember that if you if you don't know then what we do is we create a new column into the data set so df and we will call it segment underscore text right and in segment underscore text we will say that the way we were going to map this is df segment right and then we use one function to do this mapping and the name itself since we have to do the mapping the name of the function is also very similar which is map right and what we need to map is this object segment underscore text underscore detail right you execute this it will work fine and then what do you have simply say df dot head which will show you first five rows similar to this and you will see that at the end you have the segment text column where 10 percent is mapped to the consumer 25 percent is mapped to the corporate that way you can if you have a requirement like this where you need to create a new column based on category mapping or based on the new category values you want to give then you can achieve it like this right so i hope if you are looking for a solution like this then you will find it useful also you can get my book where you will find these 20 other different you know techniques which is a little bit tricky when you write it right uh, or when you think about it you do a lot of googling and all however in this i'm giving you all of these solutions at one single place so that you can keep it as your handbook whenever you have a such a situation you will find it also my plan is to create multiple workbooks so stay tuned to my channel and uh, make sure you subscribe and notify by pressing the bell icon and you will get the um, more information about such solutions as well as new books as soon as you as soon as i uh, publish them all right with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic